Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how uh, to get an NI enabled on 5.1 and how to get 5.1. And as you'll see, I have everything uh, with an NI enabled. They have improved the uh, disintegration distance on the trees, but I personally think that they should like allow us to have some kind of LOD system because as you'll see, uh, they don't look too good from a distance. And the reason why is because Nanite, if something is smaller than a pixel, uh, it will not render it. And that's for performance reasons. I do believe you can uh, increase the visible cluster count, but it's going to significantly impact performance. Uh, so with that out of the way, if you're going to make a landscape and use nanite foliage and trees, just don't have it. Uh, don't have a world that's like wide open like this, uh, where you can see for great distances. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it does look like uh, Lumen has improved a bit. I was getting some serious issues up here but it looks like it's calmed down quite a bit. It's definitely improved uh, with uh, 5.1. Yeah, you'll still see it a little bit here. That's, uh... anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to uh, download uh, uh, GitHub the git bash and you're going to open git bash and you're going to go to cd c colon backslash uh, whatever your folder is so I would go ahead and create one and call it whatever And then I have this command saved somewhere. Let's see, I think I just uh, shared it on the channel. Yep. This command right here, I'll put it down in the description. You're going to copy and, and paste it. Uh, I have to copy it from this way. I don't know why it's... doing that. There we go. So once you get that in there, uh, the, the main thing to notice is you're using hyphen B UE5 main. Uh, that's the, the branch name. So you would put whatever branch you wanted uh, to clone right here and just do single branch and then the, uh, the GitHub link. And then it'll start cloning it. I'm not gonna clone it, I'm just gonna cancel it. Uh, it would take way too long. After you've cloned it, you'll see an Unreal Engine folder in that folder you created. And you'll come up here and you'll open the Windows batch file uh, the setup one and that'll take a minute to uh, to do and then you'll have a uh, admin thing that'll pop up down here on your taskbar click it and then accept it and then you'll uh, run this generate project files that'll give you this this uh, UE5 SLN uh, you'll need to download and install Windows Visual Studio so that you can open this I'll go ahead and it's going to have to be Visual Studio 2022. Um, let's see. 
So I'll go ahead and it looks like I have an update, but I'm not worried about that right now. Let's go to modify. And you're going to need to install the .NET desktop development and the desktop development with C++ and the game development with C++ and scroll down. Uh, let's see. Oops, okay, it was because I accidentally clicked that, uh, unchecked that one. Okay, what you, you can uh, in, install this Unreal Engine installer. Um, just make sure that's checked. So let me come over here to the individ individual. You'll see that I have this. I'll go ahead and just show this to you. These are the settings. You should have all of those that are checked. Um, yeah, so I didn't manually select any of these. I just uh, went through here and enabled those three things or four things. I enabled this, 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 and I made sure Unreal Engine Installer was checked. So that's pretty much it. After you've done that and you've launched it, you can come over here and uh, under Engine, you'll see the UE5 and you'll right click and you'll just build it. After you've built it, you'll notice an engine folder. You'll go in there under binaries, Win64, and you'll scroll down until you find the Unreal Editor. After that, you can launch it. It'll take a while. Uh, to get Nanite enabled, you have to go to project settings. You have to uh, actually go to platforms, windows, and you need to make sure DirectX 12 is checked and SM6 uh, is checked. This is the important one, SM6. If you don't have that checked, Nanite will not work. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I hope I made everything clear. If, you, if, I, if I didn't make anything uh, clear to you and you're uh, curious or you have any questions, uh, or have any issues, just uh, ask me and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. I will see you guys in the next video.